Apple has yet to enter the smart speaker market, but they're about to. They just wanted everyone to know that. They had to announce it like six months before it actually came out. So yeah, the HomePod is coming out in the end of the year in December, likely alongside the iMac Pro. That's gonna be an interesting shopping cart for me. Five grand desktop and smart speaker. That's. That's fine, but there have been a lot of leaks in the HomePod, which sounds like a Martian sentence, but you probably know about all the HomePod leaks, how they're telling us about the next Apple TV, about the next iPhone, about the next Apple Watch. I don't know why. Why Why does a picture of the next iPhone have to be in a HomePod firmware update? Does it need to know that? Why does it need to know about the next 4K Apple TV? I don't get it, but instead of talking about all the leaks embedded within the HomePod firmware, let's just talk about the HomePod. I'm excited for this thing, and I think it's going to blow the other speakers out of the water. So first First of all, we already know out of the gate this is going to be the most expensive smart speaker. That is a given, and that's totally something I predicted because it's something Apple would do. Apple likes to be the best, they don't like to be the cheapest. With the Google Home retailing at $130 and the Amazon Echo being around that price point, it kind of goes on sale every other day. And Amazon's kind of the innovator in this field. You know, they got the Echo Dot, they got the Echo Mobile thingy, I forget what it's called. They got the Echo Look. They've got a lot of versions of Alexa to embed in all of their hardware, but you know, Amazon hasn't really been great at selling anything else. The tablets are okay, but they're not really a competitor anymore. Apple's not worried about that. Samsung's not worried about the Fire tablets. They're really just good for, you know, really cheap ones. And the Fire Phone was, of course, the, 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 let's, let's just not talk about it. So they found their niche, and I'm sure they're going to protect it with their life. And Amazon has a lot of money and power, but people have overall been very, very impressed with all of the power of the Amazon Echo. Google tried to enter this field because they thought their Google Assistant was better than Alexa. In a lot of ways it is. I think it understands continuity better, but not as many people have actually been interested in the Google Home. It sold pretty well, even though it's a lot cheaper, but more people are still going with Alexa. I think Amazon's mastered that market. So what is Apple going to do differently in this field? Well, for one, if we're just talking about specifications, I think the HomePod has a bit of an advantage. It's being powered by the Apple built A8 chip, which was introduced in the iPhone 6. So that was designed to support a full-fledged iPhone. You know, that could power a 10 1080p display. I had the iPhone 6 Plus, by the way. It could run a graphical interface. It could, you know, record video at 1080p at 60 frames a second. There's a lot of capabilities with the iPhone 6. And to put that processor into now just a speaker, so now all that processor has to work with is sound and listening, I think it's going to work pretty quick. It's going to be very speedy. And it has a gigabyte of RAM, not that multitasking on a speaker is needed or really, really possible. But that's why I'm very excited for the array of microphones they've embedded in this thing. It's got an array of six six different microphones circling the device. So it will be listening from every direction and unlike all the other speakers, the HomePod has spatial awareness. So somehow, probably with infrared technology, wherever the HomePod is, it can tell what it needs to direct its sound attention towards. So as we all know, Siri is pretty good, but still not as good as probably Alexa or the Google Assistant with looking up data, finding information on things. So I think it was smart of Apple to say, we are going to put a primary focus on the quality of the sound, which looking at the size of the Amazon Echo and the size of the Google Home, there's only so much good audio you can put within a smart speaker that's in such a compact size. So I think it was wise of Apple with the HomePod to say, let's take our space, make this thing have a large center subwoofer with a seven tweeter array. So I'm anticipating that in terms of sound quality, people are always going to result back to the HomePod when comparing it to the Google Home and Amazon Echo. And bizarrely, because of these leaks, we actually know that the HomePod has a display of 272 by 340 just for that little glob at the top. That is apparently a touch interface panel, so you can actually tap that, whether it be to access Siri or perhaps play slash pause options, which I also think is really nice compared to the competition, where the competition has a mute button or maybe like a double tap to pause. I'm not sure how the other ones work. Maybe I should review them before the HomePod comes out. I should get the Google Home and Echo and compare them. But instead, that touch panel is gonna be useful for changing volume, lowering things down instead of trying to shout across the room, be quiet, pause! I think that's a lot smarter, but I just just think it's bizarre that that touch panel is not a square and I'm not exactly sure if we're measuring the side dimensions or if we're measuring it like a cross as you would measure the screen resolution on like a circular watch because maybe this displays a circle and I'm anticipating it's not going to be very specific like they're not going to display text on this touch panel because it's going to be kind of blurry LEDs similar to the Google Home because if you've seen pictures of the top of the HomePod it's the Siri animation is kind of like a glob and it seems like the top of the HomePod can be solid white if it has 
supposed to be, which means that this is not just a basic display like you have on your iPhone or your Apple Watch. This is something hidden underneath like a sheet of glass that is also touch friendly. So I'm very curious how that actually works. But the other interesting thing is that within this HomePod firmware leak we've been seeing, we actually got a bunch of sounds to hear what the HomePod sound effects are gonna be when you're setting a timer or trying to make it discoverable. They have them all labeled and it's leaked by Apple right here. Here's one for setting timers. Here's likely one for like being discoverable, so you're trying to pair it with something. A couple different timer options like this. Very pleasant sounds, I might add. And I also think it would be smart of Apple that when they unveil the HomePod, they say it comes with three months of Apple Music for free. Did they say that? I can't remember. But this HomePod is going to be primarily built around Siri. It's not supposed to be able to pair with your other digital assistant, so it'll probably not be as friendly to Spotify or any other music service you want to use. This is strictly really for Apple sheep who have Apple Music. And it's really just going to be another great addition to that Apple ecosystem, which is already so strong. And I'm very excited to use it. So to answer any anyone's question out there, yes, I'll be buying it and reviewing it as soon as it's available. My only debate is which color do I get? Because usually Apple's accessories are white, you know, like the charger cables and the AirPods, but I usually like to get black with all of my products. So is this an accessory? Is this a standalone product? I'm, I'm not sure. Follow me on Twitter. Maybe I'll do a Twitter poll when it comes out about whether I should get white or space gray. Let me know all your thoughts on the HomePod in the comments below. I'm very excited for it and can't wait to see it unveiled and what kind of box it comes in at the end of the year. Like there, there's only one power cord. There's no other ports on it. There's no USB-C. It's just power and that's it. I've seen the back of it and stuff. So yeah, pretty exciting new lineup from Apple. This is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one.